And we're back with video questionnaire number three, I think. I've done two. Yeah, three. Number three. Okay, so this time we actually have a bunch of questions to answer as opposed to the first time we only got like two or something like that. Anyway, um, first question is how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Well, I did some research for this one and there was a bunch of answers, but I'm going to give you the one that I think that you want. So the woodchuck question, um, woodchucks can chuck, no, when woodchucks are burrowing, they can throw around 35 cubic feet of dirt. And so in the, re in the research that I found, it said that if you can like if you were to convert the dirt into wood a woodchuck could chuck about 70 no about 700 pounds of wood right what 700 no it's not like a deadlift like just fuck it like 700 pounds just get that shit out of here it's like um it's like um i think it goes over like a, a time frame like uh i think it's two pounds Two pounds every eleven seconds, or something like that. Don't do the math and tell me, cause I I don't I'm not good at math. Okay, next question is where's my body? I'm tired of floating around being a ghost. Um, your body is in the hallway of your house, like the one right next to your room. You have to get a get, go get a payphone, like go get wire cutters or something. Cut the payphone wire, whatever. Just get a payphone, just just the receiver part. Get that. You're gonna cover it in peanut butter. Peanut butter, okay? It doesn't matter if Jif or Skippy or we, we want to be holding a phone of peanut butter. You're gonna wrap that up in to in toilet tissue. Just wrap it up all the way, like mummify it. You're gonna douse it in gasoline. You're gonna light it on fire. You're gonna flush it down your toilet. After you that, after you do that, your body's gonna smell it. It's gonna wonder what the fuck is going on, and then while it's going to the bathroom to figure out like what that smell is, why does my bathroom smells like flaming shit peanut butter? You're gonna jump, you're gonna vault. I want you to just jump, jump towards your body as it's coming at you, and you'll get your body back. And there you go. If we ever met, what would we do? I'd probably take you bowling. I'd probably take you wig bowling. Bring the sexiest wig that you have, like mine's here, my sexy wig. Find the sexiest wig that you have. We'll call up a couple friends. We'll go bowling. I have never. I've only been bowling like one time back in. I don't know. 1996, something like that. It's a really long time ago. Why is why such a great never-ending question? Okay. Why is why? Okay. What this question is is like. Like when you're asking a question, and someone explains it. And you could just say why, and that's like a good general question all on its own. It's not like a whole sentence that you have to explain. It's just why, and you know exactly that you have to explain more shit. Why is such a good never-ending question? Because it's like a shovel. It's like a shovel word. You can always use it all the time and keep on digging with it until you hit something that you can't go through with your shovel. It's like you can always explain something all the time. Like no matter what, you can like if someone said, um, "I like ice cream." Okay, whatever. Why? Um, because my family always used to go buy ice cream as a kid. Why? Because that's what we did as a family, and we didn't want our family to be like other families that are boring. Why? Whatever. Does being black make you significant? Why did I emphasize that? Does being black make you significantly hotter in the summertime? Yes. Yes, it does. It's like wearing three black shirts. If I could walk around naked, I could walk around naked, but I don't. It's it's just not me. But um, maybe it's the shade of, of maybe it's your shade of skin. Like me, I'm pretty yellow. Like I'm not like super dark black. Like my pants. I don't know if you see it. Like my pants. My pants are pretty black, but I'm not that black. I'm like a caramel brown. I'm like the color of my shirt. I tend to think that my shirt is my skin, and yeah, I keep messing up. But um, yes, being black does make you hotter in the summer. Well, it makes me hotter in the summer. I don't know about anybody else, but um, 
I've seen a lot of people sweating pretty hard. So, yes. Yes. The answer is yes. <laughs> Next question is, where are you going with that big booty? <laughs> where am I going with that big booty? I'm coming to your house so I can pop lock and drop it on the hood of your car. And then when you come outside to see what the problem is, I'm going to twerk in your doorway so you can never reach the problem. If it's always darkest right before the dawn, why can I see the light creeping in my window just before the sun is up? That's because you live on a hill. You can see everything when you're on top of a hill. Obviously. Like, you have, um, what's it called? You're not at ground level. You have, like, the advantage of seeing down on everyone like some asshole. That's why, that's why I mean, to, to, for that to be true, you would have to live at ground level, not on a hill, or on a mountain, or I don't know, you, you probably live in a tree or something. Boxers or briefs? Prove it. Boxers or briefs? Um, I can't. I'm wearing boxers, but I'd rather wear briefs, because it lets your dangle do breathe, and you can flex in it, and jump and do sweet sweet moves and hype ass tricks and I love doing hype ass tricks I'm not that good at them but it's good to attempt okay our next question is why do you feel the need to live a double life as Phoenix and Yugi huh why not just combine them I mean why combine them together like I like them separate like I'd have like if I had both of them together then like I'd have to get all my emails together and then people would know me by both names and then the people who knew me as only Phoenix would um, have to juggle between like calling me my real name or my fake name and some people don't like to some people do I personally don't mind and like seriously like why have one when you could have two. And second question is Who is your motivator, mentor, inspirationalist, if you will, and why? Um, the people who inspire me are, are, I think it's about four. There's a bunch of them, but the main ones so far have been uh, Corey Lewis. He's like the illustrator, creator of this of this um, comic that I love. But I love his art style. Uh, same thing goes with um, another artist named Otto Smith. He's an illustrator as well. Uh, the stuff that they draw, the angles and stuff, the originality just makes me want to do more of what I like to do. Um, there's also Adam Colton. He's uh, he's like a professional skateboard longboarder. Uh, Globe Trekker. Uh, I I could say because he's a graphic designer. He's he's an artist as well. He makes and designs his own stuff. And um, another one is a uh, a lady named Annie Miss Thor's daughter. She's like a competitor in the CrossFit Games, and she's just just seeing her as fit as she is. It just it makes me want to work out. It makes me want to get fit you know, get big or go home. So, I don't know. They're cool people. I love them all. Like, I, I, can, I can't choose, like, one out of... I can't choose one out of them. Like, I just I just live with them all at once because it's, it's, they're all just fantastic people. I, I love seeing the stuff that they do and they just keep getting better and better and better. So, yeah. Those are the people that I look up to. I think that's it. Oh, wait. One more question is... Why does the raven... Wait, does the raven make an appearance? Raven? You must be talking about that one! Fuck you, raven! 